Welcome back to part four of my video series on how I edit an image in Snapseed and prepare it for Instagram. So in the last video, we talked about using the selective tool to select the areas around my subject and to bring back some more texture and some more contrast to those areas. And this helps the very bright areas of the image to not look so bright, not to pull the viewer's eyes away from the subject. So we've done that, but it's really still not enough. It's still too white around the edges. And there's a way to fix that. There's actually two ways to fix that in Snapseed. I'm gonna show you both ways, okay? So the first way, and probably the, the quickest and easiest way, is to select Tools, and then uh, go to Vignette. So uh, where is the Vignette tool? There it is, right there. There's Vignette. So we pick Vignette. And Vignette, by swiping left and right, you can make, basically just gets dark all the way at the edges and it just comes in closer and closer to his face. So if you go to complete left, then you've gotten closed right in and then you can just back it out, right? But the problem with vignette is that it becomes sometimes obvious to the human eye. So if you look at this picture, like when you look at this right now, it's obvious that the background doesn't look real. That red, that, that vibrance, that doesn't look right. And so if you back it out to zero and you just bring it in a little bit, you can go right about uh, right about to there before you start to notice that it's very obvious you've got a vignette on the image. That's one way to do it. Now we're going to hit the X button. We're going to get out of that. And I'm going to show you the other way to do it, which is another great little tool that Snapseed has and one that I like to use a lot. So we're going to hit Tools. And then we are going to hit Brush. Now, with Brush, you can actually brush on the image using your finger. Uh, you can brush on the image where you want the changes to be made and you can affect dodge and burn. Whoops, come back up please, thank you. Dodge and burn, exposure, temperature, or saturation. And we wanna expect affect exposure. And if you look at the arrows down here, it's at a minus 0.3 exposure. We can go up to eraser, which means it will erase any changes that you've made, or you can make it brighter by going 0.3 or 0.7 or 1.0. But we're gonna go down to 0.3. And then using our finger, we're just gonna brush very quickly, very lightly, in the areas around him that are too bright. And if you hit the little eye icon right here, you can see a mask and it will show you, see all the red, that's where I'm painting. And that can help you sometimes because you can see we're getting what we call haloing. See the white around his head, that means I'm not painting there enough. Oh, that's gonna be too much, I bet. That's gonna to be too much, let's take it back to where we look at. Oh no, no, I think we're gonna be okay there. Okay, so let's brush in a little bit more, a little bit more at the corners, a little bit more around the edges, right there at the top. And I wanna bring his shirt down and make it a little darker too. That way his face will pop a little bit more. So let's look at before and after. Let's go right up here, click this, before, after, before, after. So now you see before, after. And also by making the areas darker around him, you make it, you make the light on his face seem more prominent. If you just look at his face, you see how the, it looks like he's got a little light right here. But when you go here, the light is everywhere. But when you go there, it looks almost like he's being lit right here. So let's hit OK. And then let's try it one more time. Let's, let's find out if, if doing it one more time, it might be too much, right? But the fun is in finding out. So let's hit Brush again. And let's go to Exposure. And let's just brush in a little bit around the edges. Now let's see what that looks like before and after. See, at first when you do it, you think it's too much. But then when you undo it, you suddenly think, oh, there's a lot of white on his shirt. There's a lot of light there. I don't want you know, coming in from the sides and stuff that I don't want affecting him. But then the other problem is you look at you look at the cobblestones behind him and you think, is that too pink? Is that too much? Now I could always lower the saturation a little bit if I wanted to. I could do that too. I think that that's probably good. That's probably good, yeah. So now we're gonna hit the check mark to say we're happy. So here's where we're at now with our image. And if we go up here and hit this button right here, we can see everything that we've done so far. We're gonna hit view edits. And here's everything we've done so far. Starting with the original image, then we cropped it, then we tuned it, then we used a selective on the background, then we brushed some more on the background, 
and now we have finally brushed a little bit more to get it where we want it. Now these two brushes, those are the two I'm concerned about. This one versus this one. This second one may be too much. It may be that that's what I want. I think it is because if you look, the colors over his shoulder, back up in here and back up in here, they're a little too bright. Like they're a little too burned. But this one still kind of looks natural. So I'm going to take this second brush right here. I'm going to click it and then I'm going to trash can it and get rid of it. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to go with for right now. I think that's a good one. So that's our image. Stay tuned because another video comes up right after this one and that will show you the final steps that I take on this image. Thanks for watching.